In the new code of law, which it will be necessary for you to formulate, I desire that you remember the ladies and be more generous and favorable to them than ever were your ancestors. Do not place unlimited power in the hands of husbands, for all men would be tyrants if they could. And if particular care and attention be not paid to the ladies, we are absolutely determined to foment a revolution of our own. <laughs> and we will not hold ourselves bound by any law in which we have had no voice. <laughs> that your sex is by nature tyrannical is a truth so thoroughly established as to admit of no dispute. But such among you who do wish to enjoy domestic felicity do willingly put off the harsh title of master for the more tender and endearing name of friend. Why not then remove power from those who would be wrongful and vicious, who treat us with indignity and cruelty and impunity? Men of good sense abhor customs that treat women like slaves. Regard us instead as precious beings placed by providence under your sacred protection and in fond imitation of the Supreme Being, make use of your power for our happiness, and thereby for your own as well. <laughs> <laughs>